Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the ah, blue shift. What a classic game. And visitors to the Black Mesa so yes, welcome. Welcome to my Half-Life Blue Shift series. This game is going to be done from beginning to end as a walkthrough. My first walkthrough I've ever done, actually. So we'll see how it goes. I'm starting off right from the beginning. Pretty much the oldest game <laughs> that I could do. Blue Shift. Which was released, I believe, in 2001. Uh, June the 12th, 2001, I think. And it's the second expansion to Half-Life. Which was released in 1998. And then there was Opposing Force, and then there was Blue Shift, which is this one. So yes, we're going to be just playing through all of this, chapter by chapter, until the end. It's not the longest one in the world, so I don't know how many parts this is going to be, but I'm going to split it by chapters and then put it in parts. Because my internet is so bad, it's going to have to be that way, unfortunately, but either way I'm still going to do it, so we're going to be playing through. Um, Stay away from electrified rails. It's on easy, just because I haven't played it for a long time, but I'm sure it won't be too bad in so... I could change it, I suppose. If your intended now, destination is, is a high security area beyond Sector C... So yeah, if you haven't played it before, this is Blue Shift, and you're playing the part of Barney Calhoun, who is a security guard in the Black Mesa Complex, which is where the scientific doodah goes on. And yeah, there's there's a bit of a technicality uh, while we're doing all this, but you'll find out as we play it if you haven't played it before, so we're just on the tram on the way to our sector to go to work. At the Area 9 security checkpoint. Access to the medium security branch of the transit system is for employees of the Black Mesa Research Facility and authorized visitors only, and requires that you wear your security badge at all times. Elevino? Friends like you? Man! Hey, Calhoun! Looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, Calhoun. Okay, Otis. That's Otis, by the way. This train is now so yes, to Barney the Calhoun, the security the guard in Black Mesa. System. This is a medium security area of the Black Mesa facility. Be sure to wear your identification badge at all times. Area 3 security is where we'll be working today. Clearance level 3. And as far as I can remember, you do actually pass this area in Half-Life 1. And you see a Spanico who knocking on this door because we can't get in because it's all jammed from the other side. And you see that in the other one. So all the three storylines kind of fit together because they're, they're, they're all going out at the same time, which is quite a nice idea. And in fact, there we are. That's uh, in, in, in Half-Life 1. That's Gordon Freeman. And he's about to come past there. After we try and get in. Here he comes. So if you play Half-Life 1, you'll see this from another perspective. Responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Okay, I think I got it. Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. So unlike the previous versions, uh, Opposing Force and Half-Life, the textures have been updated in this one because it's a newer game. So you can see, for example, the security guard's face is a lot more detailed than it is in the other two, but you'd have to compare them side by side. Uh, but they are, believe me. 
Catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. So, I think we have to go and get our security clothes, nice our helmet, this morning, and our vest. Where is it? Here it is. Cone. Well, he keeps a lot of stuff. Yeah. We need to go and get a weapon, I think. 